What's up everybody, Dr. Rossi, welcome back to the channel, and I just feel like I'm on a roll this week, so I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep bringing you guys new content. So, sometimes people think that I'm all about medication because I talk about medication here on the channel all the time, or that I exclusively believe medication is the solution to everyone's problems when, it re when it's related to mental health. However, you guys couldn't be more wrong who think that because that is not true. And today what we're here to do is trash the pharmaceutical industry a little bit for a new medication that I've covered before in previous videos. This will be the orlanzapine samidorphin combination. And in the past I said it was an exciting thing for us because orlanzapine is a very good medication, has good efficacy in things like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. However, it comes with a great metabolic cost. So the idea was that this new mechanism was going to shake things up and give you orlanzapine without the weight gain and metabolic side effects. However, it seems like orlanzapine and samidorphin still makes you fat, and that's what we're here to cover today, so let's jump right into it. Sometimes psychopharmacology and drug design feels like a recycling bin full of old ideas, and that's kind of what we got, and today is an opportunity to talk about some of the flaws in those latest recycled ideas. Specifically, we're going to be talking about taking the medication orlanzapine, again, one that's known to be quite efficacious when it comes to bipolar disorder or schizophrenia, but also comes with the risks of inducing diabetes, causing significant weight gain, changes in lipid profiles, all things that can lead to further complications down the road such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. So the idea was to add this opioid receptor blocker, samidorphin, kind of similar to naltrexone, not the same medication, but a similar idea, adding this, and naltrexone has been used for weight loss when you combine it with the medication bupropion, it's called Contrave, and that is a medication approved for weight loss by the FDA. However, point being is this idea is not that new. Adding this to the medication seems like a good idea because they're kind of promising this, this concept of like we can get this very useful medication without the long-term risk of metabolic side effects. So I covered this medication a while back before the FDA even approved the medication, and I was happy that we were seeing this attempt to mitigate some of the issues with the metabolic side effects that we face as psychiatrists, because we're always thinking about this, despite whether or not people think we're thinking about it, we are trying to make good medication decisions for our patients and ones that aren't gonna lead to long-term complications. So we know from the KD trial that this medication is quite effective, that people tend to stay on it for a relatively long time. Some people would even say it's the second best option outside of clozapine, which I've covered in previous videos as well, if you're interested. Unfortunately, what we see during this 12-week study of first episode patients, young first episode patients, we see that orlanzapine samidorphin failed to prevent weight gain. In fact, the orlanzapine group gained an average of 4.7 kilograms over 12 weeks, while the orlanzapine samidorphin group gained an average of 3.4 kilograms over that same 12-week period. And that results in a net weight gain or a net difference in weight gain of 1.3 kilograms for the orlanzapine samidorphin combination group. So not a very significant difference in weight gain. And again, it fails to prevent weight gain entirely, which is what we would actually hope for. And furthermore, what's really disappointing about the orlanzapine samidorphin combination is that not only did it fail to prevent weight gain, but it failed to make a difference in terms of the metabolic markers such as lipid profiles. In fact, the orlanzapine samidorphin combination still resulted in changes in both triglycerides and LDL cholesterol, which was part of the hope that we were getting a medication that would prevent these type of changes. So it seems like from this study, and again, we probably need a little more research to say with absolute certainty that this medication does not prevent weight gain and that it does not alter the markers of metabolic derangement that we will see with orlanzapine alone. So it doesn't really do what we'd hoped it would do. So in summary, the weight gain associated with orlanzapine samidorphin combination is similar to that of orlanzapine alone, and we do not see the changes, or the lack of changes rather, in the metabolic markers such as triglycerides and LDL that we would hope for when combining these two medications together. Furthermore, it becomes very difficult to justify a $1,500 price tag for a medication that doesn't prevent weight gain and still causes the same metabolic side effects. 
So with that said, I'm going to hold the video there, guys. I would love to hear your comments and questions below, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, and give us a like, give us a share. It really helps me to keep working on this project. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.